Yuito, wake up. What is it, Hanabi? TV. A tabloid show. The Suo incident caused by Karin Travers is causing much confusion. The assassination of Chairman Sumeragi, ordered by Travers, brought great shock to New Himuka. Dad. We've drawn up an image of the witness account of the culprit, Kasane Randall, shown here. <gasps> Kasane? What's going on? That is awful. You can see the suspect's features so clearly. Hey, are you all watching the news? Wataru. Kasane's family and the OSF refused to provide a picture. Crow's streaming data was also deleted, so all they could do was draw up a picture of her. Man, I feel a little bad for Kasane. Oh, sorry, Yuito. I probably shouldn't say that. No, it's okay. I'm feeling a little bad, too. Yuito, you smiled. Thank goodness. What? Oh, right. I made everyone worry. I'm sorry. Just let us worry. That's all we can do. It looks like there are no after effects from the brain field. Thank goodness. It was your voices that brought me back. It was like... I wasn't myself anymore. Brainfield really is powerful, but you can't use it when you're emotional. I wasn't thinking straight. I knew it was a risky move, but I didn't imagine it would be this bad. Powers are affected by emotions, so it's probably the same with Brainfields. If you can control it, it will be a powerful tool. So it's all in how you use it? That's a little scary. Just be careful using it. Anyone can change staying in a place like that. Oh, yeah. Chief Sumeragi wants you to come to HQ. My brother. Okay, I'll be right there. Wataru, uh, about your sister. Haruka? Don't worry about her. She's impulsive, unlike me. So she probably got concerned while looking after Kasane and the others, and ended up going along with them. What? Your sister is involved with Kasane? Oh, you didn't know? She's Kasane's operator. That's just how things are, so don't sweat it. But thanks. <laughs> okay, hurry up and get going before you anger the chief. Okay, let's go back to Suo. Why did you stop? What? Um... Weren't we just talking at the hideout? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Huh? When did we get back to Suo? Sorry to keep you waiting. We banned all interviews so crows would get off our backs. So it's okay now. Huh? Lieutenant Colonel Luca? Yuito. I asked you to just call me Luca. You're in command now. What? Wait a second. You mean when I was provisional commander during the Suo incident? No. You were just made commander by Major General Fubuki. When was that? Huh? You're acting strange. Wataru, is there anything strange about Yuito's cerebral data? No, nothing in particular. You don't remember meeting Major General Fubuki? No. We've been reassigned to OSF First Platoon. You're the leader, and we're going out on patrol. Ugh. I've got a bad feeling about this. You should get checked out at the OSF hospital ASAP. What about the patrol? If things are hairy, I'll call the higher-ups. You're the leader. I can't force you to. But would you please go to the hospital? Yeah. You'll get peace of mind if you do. 
Right. You're right. Okay. I'll do that. I'll tell command about the patrol. As for getting to the hospital... Oh, my uncle is the chief doctor, so I'll take him. Also, because my uncle runs the show, if I send him a message, he'll be looked at right away. No need to worry. It's likely the result of exhaustion. There seems to be an excess of psionic hormones leaking in your brain, causing temporary confusion. I'll give you a prescription to stop the leakage that you can fill at our pharmacy. Take it when symptoms appear. Okay. Thank you. Private Sumaragi, the brave fighter who protected Suo from others in the Suo incident. In an unprecedented promotion, he was appointed to Commander of First Platoon. What is this? I didn't do any of that. It may not be exactly what you want, but deal with it for now. It's a request from Chief Kaito and the government. They want to raise you up as a hero who saved the country. Wait, that's right. We did talk about that. I can't remember most of it, though. Let's have a look at 2nd Lieutenant Yuito Sumeragi's March of Victory. Don't bother with the news. The media always does whatever they want. So how was it? Figure anything out? Yeah. They said it was exhaustion. I have to wait here for a bit for my prescription to be ready. Council Chairman Joe Sumeragi, slain at the hands of assassin Kasane Randall in the Suo incident. In light of such a dire event, our courageous second lieutenant, Yuito Sumeragi. Hey, if we have time to kill, why not look around the hospital? I didn't get a chance to show you around before. <laughs> You're very kind, Hanabi. Hey, at least it's far better than watching the crow's propaganda. Yeah, let's do that. This area should be safe enough to talk. Is it true that the new Himuka government was transforming people into others? Yes, it was a long time ago. But Fubuki's fiance, Alice Ichijo, was also metamorphosed. My brother and Fubuki began investigating the cause of Alice's metamorphosis. The case led them to find out about new Himuka's personality rehabilitation, metamorphosis technology, and the surveillance systems of each city. Excuse me, do you mean my Aunt Alice? That's right, she was your aunt. Have you heard anything? No. I was told she joined OSF and planned to leave when she turned 20, but she was killed in the line of duty. That's why my family was in such strong opposition to me being scouted. But since we're legally unable to refuse... Hey, I found the file on Alice Ichijo in the database. She looks exactly like Hanabi. Alice was the daughter of OSF Hospital's previous chairman. That's why she was engaged to Spring Pharmaceutical's Major General Fubuki. I think that's true. It's the first I've heard this, but it seems plausible. If this was a plan led by the new Himuka government, does that mean my father knew about it? Oh. I think he did. Moreover, it might be better to assume that he was at the center of it all. The Sumeragi family has a long history in politics, after all. Then does my brother know about it, too? Am I the only one who was kept in the dark? Yuito, Kasane is coming. Eight o'clock. <laughs> Kasane? Just hold on! We can talk this over! No point. You'll be dead. Do it, Yuito! <laughs> Why are you trying to kill me? At least tell me the reason. I told you I don't want to talk. If you're trying to kill you, I'll do everything to stop you. I'm just want to stay out of this. 
fine. Will you please calm down to me? This is bad. Don't do it, huh? Let's regroup. Kasane is out for blood. She may kill us if we don't give it our all. I didn't trust Seto and that got him killed. I won't make the same mistake twice. I'm going to stop Kasane.
Kasane, tell me, why did you kill my father and join Seiron? <sighs> Is it because my father was involved in metamorphosis research? Because new Himuka turned Naomi into an other? So you found out about it too. Yes, that's exactly right. Hey, Kodama's coming. What? What is she doing here? Master Yuito, Kodama is here. Huh? Uh, wait, Kasane! Oh, that traitor Kasane is here too? That's fine. It is a pleasure to meet you, Master Yuito. I'm Kodama Maloney. I believe this is our first time meeting as well. Oh, you're right! But I'm only loyal to Master Yuito. What? Oh, Master Yuito, I have a message from Master Fubuki. He's taking care of everything, so you can come back now. So, are you on our side, Kodama? On your side, Master Yuito. Officially, my position may be the leader of Kodama Platoon and Major General Fubuki's aide, but my heart will always belong to you, Master Yuito. You could have just contacted us instead of coming all the way out here, Kodama. Maybe no one trusts you, Wataru. I mean, your sister went to Seiron after all. Shut up. Don't group me in with Haruka. It wasn't just to deliver a message. I had to give this to you, too. What is it? Your medicine that was discarded at the OSF hospital. Oh. Is that okay? I don't mean to offend my uncle, but isn't it dangerous to take meds from the OSF hospital? Hanabi, and this goes for the rest of you as well, but it's in your best interests not to talk about or criticize the hospital in Suo. I'm sure you know why. Because the government is monitoring everyone. Exactly. Well, I'll be going back now. See you later, Master Yuito. Huh? This ampule... It's the same as the one I found in the abandoned underground subway. Why don't we stop by the hideout before returning to Suo? To go over everything we learned. We won't have to worry about anyone listening there. And don't worry, recording conversation data through my control system isn't allowed. Now that I think about it, Major General Fubuki probably prohibited recording in order to protect the OSF after he learned the truth about the government. Yeah, maybe. Hold on. That woman looks like she's in trouble. Excuse me, is everything all right? Oh, sorry. I'm a dud. I, I just can't see the hospital's vision. A dud? Forgive me. I'm inept, so I can't activate the system that responds to powers. Do you know where the neurology department is? I can show you the way. People without powers are called duds? Man, you really were raised with a silver spoon in your mouth. It's because... Well, how can I put it? They don't really have much mental ability. That's a pretty harsh nickname. It is, but people without powers tend to refer to themselves as duds rather than inept. They probably have an aversion to admitting they have less brain power. Unable to use powers. That must be so inconvenient. Yes, I'm sure it is. The town's vision and even Cynet were created with powers in mind. 
I've heard that only 0.1% of the population is inept. I really think the government should give more consideration to them. Apparently at the OSF hospital, they're conducting research on ineptitude and how to cure it. Getting rid of the inept must be a goal for the government. Duds. Hmm. Why does that remind me of something? What's wrong, Hanabi? What's with that face? Well, when I brought that woman to the neurology center, I heard a nurse talking about some bus for urgent patients. Why would they put urgent patients on a bus? A bus? I must have heard wrong. I'm sorry. A bus is here. Underground. Underground? Why would a bus be underneath the hospital? They should make it come to the main entrance. The Underground Road is a special passage to leave the city. Hmm. There's no data on the OSF hospital, which means we have no idea what's going on inside. It wouldn't surprise me if they used an underground road to bring in emergency patients. Urgent patients? The Ichijo OSF hospital's old building is outside of Suo. You mean Lokusho City? I heard it was badly attacked by others ten years ago. That not even ruins are left. That's right. Did you used to live in Lokusho City? No. I was born and raised in Suo, because my father was disinherited from the Ichijo's main branch. I only went to Lokusho City every once in a while. But the hospital you were in was the old OSF hospital in Lokusho, right? I even went there to visit you. Right. When Lokusho was attacked, my mother was killed. <gasps> Nagi is on the bus? What? Nagi? Yeah, he was filed under missing persons. I might have been mistaken. Sorry, I can't track him. I'm not allowed access inside the hospital. All right. Sugumi, tell us where the bus with Nagi was headed. I've sent the coordinate data. It's in the direction of the old OSF hospital in the Lokusho city ruins. Let's all go. If Nagi is alive, I want to see him and talk to him. Yeah, we need to make sure that really was Nagi.